Hey everyone, Silent Hill 2 Remake got a nice patch recently, which is supposed to help performance on the Steam Deck and also adds a new setting, which I'll show you how to set, which should help with those awful load spikes. This is patch 1.04, which is a little bit odd because that's not what shows on the home screen for the version as it's 1.1 something. And they also introduce another bug if you've got past the labyrinth section. So be sure to check that out if you have. This still doesn't have Steam Cloud saves though, unfortunately, so do not uninstall the game because where the saves are located, they will be deleted on your Steam Deck. Settings wise, we can now run this back with TSR on low, but I do recommend that you set the quality preset to custom. Go into the advanced settings, set the advanced quality preset to low, set the anti-aliasing to TXAA with 100% resolution scale, and then on the scene occlusion section, turn it to disabled and sharpen to medium. Now you will get a pretty solid 30 to 40 frames per second in this game and pretty much no more load spikes and major jitter when transitioning areas. Now there is still a very minor amount that occurs but it's not jarring and won't really distract from your gameplay anymore. You'll just notice the FPS drop a little bit in those sections but at least it doesn't freeze. Overall it is performing a lot better though and of course you can still use the Steam Deck command equals zero if you want to push the FSR 3.1, but, but TAA is performing fantastic and just looks so much better for me. So I will continue to recommend this. Now, I do still recommend that we cap this at 30 frames per second as it does still dip under the 30s in some areas and barely holds 40 in a lot more. So for a lot more stable experience, just cap it at 30 frames per second in game and on deck and you will also get that slightly better battery life as well. Not much, but it does make it more consistent and does perform a lot more solidly. Unfortunately, this doesn't do a lot for the beginning of the game. So if you are just starting a game or starting a new game, don't expect the performance to carry through in the forest section. Unfortunately, that's still a dive at 20 frames per second, but at least it doesn't last long till you get through it. Let us know in the comments below if you're diving back into Silent Hill 2 Remake or waiting for cloud saves so you don't accidentally uninstall the game and lose all your progress. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.